Well, I just got done measuring this fixture here with a, a great client of ours out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And I'm going to do a little cleanup of this model that I've got here. So I've got my report all handed off and all my features all measured. In fact, I'll show you the first things that we kind of measured here. Just a bunch of points. These guys are making sure that these fixtures are all dialed in before they send them off to Caterpillar. So what we do is we come in and we measure, then we tell them how much to change their shims to do that. So what I've got though is all of these first initial points that I've poked, I'll uh, hide those a second. And then look at the model tray. I've got a bunch of other points here that are, let me view, restore them. These are all the final points that we put on this fixture after we got those things dialed in. So that is what the fixture is doing right now, are the, these final points. But what I wanted to show you guys today is Let's do a little cleanup of this workspace here and group these together. So that's what I've got. All those points that I've got highlighted right now are the final points. So what you do is once you've got them highlighted, you can right mouse click and then come down to edit and then come down to group. Okay, it's kind of buried in there a little bit, but it's right mouse click, edit, and then group. Boom, then what they do is they go into this object group one. So kind of a default name here, this object group one. And if I show you with that uh, plus key, you can see they're all underneath there now. But immediately what I do is after I've done uh, grouping those together, after I've got that complete, I right click on that and I say object group rename. Okay, so now here would be my dim points final. So now all those final points are underneath this plus again. So a good way to keep the model tree nice and compact and, um, and still all of that information is, is in there, but so much easier to see now what my model tree's got going on for features. So it's very easy to do. All you do is, I'll try it here. If I just grab these six, just to show you, right click, edit, and group. 